everything is theoretically impossible until it's done. Robert Anson Heinlein is famous for being one of the most influential science fiction writers of all time. He wrote a large number of novels, short stories and essays that explored themes such as politics, social issues and technology. Some of his most famous works include Stranger in a Strange Land 1961, Starship Troopers 1959, The Moon is a Harsh Mistress 1966 and The Door into Summer 1957. He set a high standard for science and engineering plausibility and helped raise the standards of the genre's literary quality. Furthermore, he was a pioneer of the subgenre of hard science fiction and therefore wrote in great detail about induction catapults, a space elevator and interstellar space travel. Stranger in a Strange Land contains an early description of the waterbed, an invention that made its real-world debut in 1968. One of Heinlein's merits was that he became one of the first American science fiction writers to break into mainstream magazines, increasing the readership of science fiction stories. Furthermore, Heinlein's work is known for its thought-provoking and controversial nature, and many of his ideas and themes can be seen in modern science fiction. He won several awards during his career, including four Hugo Awards, and his work continues to be widely read and highly regarded today. Unfortunately, many of Robert A. Heinlein's fantastic books were only adapted for TV rather than cinema. Some of these movies and TV shows were not critically acclaimed or well-reviewed. Only Starship Troopers and The Puppet Masters were adapted for the big screen, and the science fiction movie Destination Moon from 1950 was only loosely based on Heinlein's work, an issue that happened more than once. Starship Troopers 1997 was directed by Paul Verhoeven and also only had a little relationship to the book. Fans of Heinlein were critical of the movie, and Verhoeven commented that he had tried to read the book after he had bought the rights to it to add to his existing movie. However, he read only the first two chapters, finding it too boring to continue. It's set in a future where Earth is at war with giant alien bugs and follows a young man who enlists the military to fight in the war. The Puppet Masters, 1994, was directed by Stuart Orm. It's set in a future where Earth has been invaded by parasitic aliens that have taken control of human bodies and follows a team of government agents who must stop the invasion. Other great stories like The Moon is a Harsh Mistress, 2000, Stranger in a Strange Land, 1991, and The Door into Summer, 1973, were only film adaptations for TV with small budgets. That's why they're almost forgotten about today. Heinlein was born in Missouri in 1907 and was a sixth-generation German-American. The family could not afford to send Heinlein to college, so he sought an appointment to a military academy. In 1929, he graduated from the Naval Academy with the equivalent of a Bachelor of Arts in Engineering. After his discharge, Heinlein attended a few weeks of graduate classes in mathematics and physics at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, but he soon quit. He began his writing career in the 1940s and quickly made a name for himself with his thought-provoking and controversial stories, which explored themes of politics, social issues and technology. His first story, Lifeline, was published in Astounding Science Fiction in August 1939. Originally written for a contest, he sold it to Astounding for significantly more than the contest's first prize payoff. His first book, Rocket Ship Galileo, 1947, was initially rejected because the aspect of travelling to the moon was considered too far-fetched. Twenty-two years later, the manned moon landing became a reality. Heinlein was named the first science fiction writer's Grand Master in 1974. All in all, Heinlein published 32 novels, 59 short stories and 16 collections during his life. He died in his sleep from emphysemia and heart failure on May 8, 1988. In our video about Isaac Asimov, we already mentioned that he and Heinlein served together during World War II. And in our video about Philip K. Dick, we mentioned the story of how Heinlein helped him financially when he had trouble with the IRS. Therefore, it's safe to say that Heinlein was a mentor to others and was generous in his help. This is also reflected in the Heinlein Society, which, among other things, presents the Heinlein Award for outstanding works in science fiction and technical writings that inspire the human exploration of space. Thank you for your attention. Who is your favourite science fiction author? Write them in the comments.